Well, welcome back to the workshop. Today we've got something that's, I don't know, I think it's kind of fun, saves a couple dollars, and makes something really robust and super scale for your airplane. So today what we're going to look at, as you can tell from the video description, is we're going to do some conversion on some Robart pneumatic retracts. Now specifically, these retracts were... The, the, so used retracts from Robart are pretty cheap, honestly. Um, comparatively speaking, uh, to a pair of new, you can generally get them at least 50% off. If you go to swap meets and things like that. So as you get into your winter builds, uh, you know, it is currently October, mid-October. So getting into your winter builds, you want to look for parts and make sure that you're set for things. Well, if you can't initially find them, usually in the springtime, there are swap meets and things like that. And generally you can find retracks pretty cheap. The fun thing about Robarts is they're all pretty much designed around the same size okay and what I mean by that is um, how much weight an airplane can handle so this specific series it doesn't matter uh, what number it is I'm just going to use it as an example this series uh, of the Robart retracts is designed to have the air cylinder pointing out from how the landing gear would point away from the retracting position. So my hand would be the, the, the wheel and the gear would retract down like this. But you can order replacement parts and convert it to a different geometry if you need it for your specific application. This is a converted one. So let me get the stop. The nice thing about the Robarts is that they have these built-in geometric stops. I'll get into that in a minute. Alright, so again I'm going to position it so that my hand is the wheel. So now, as it pivots down, it will be like that. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to put these in the locked position for down. So, looking at these side by side, you can see that this one is exactly 90 degrees, whereas this one is at 85 degrees. Reason for that is this is going to go into a Mustang build. And the Mustang, because of the dihedral of the wing, the landing gear sticking down straight 90 degrees from the wing will make it look like that. And we do not want the landing gear to look that way. We want it to look scale, and we want it to look right. So the parts to replace both of these sets of landing gear, um, it's only like 50 bucks. Now there is a lead time because Robart makes these retracts to order so don't expect them to just have it waiting on a shelf for you uh, same thing like if you uh, find a, a retract at, uh, at one of these uh, sale places and it's got one of these hose barbs knocked off of it you can get replacement of those if the cylinder is able to accept a new one if it's been broken off you can buy new cylinders for like 35 bucks it's not that bad to replace parts on, on these retracts. It's when you buy them brand new, fully assembled, that they're really, really expensive. This set of retracts new would be somewhere in the neighborhood north of $300 just for these. So take it for what you will. Um, Robart are ridiculously reliable. I have seen them on numerous airplanes over the years. I have used them on a number of my airplanes as well. They're very, very reliable, very, very robust. And the pneumatic system can be a little bit intimidating at first, but once you get the handle of the pathways and how you manage your air, it's really not that big of a deal. It's much simpler than setting up mechanical retracts. Mechanical retracts can be a real pain, and uh, I just prefer the pneumatics. Enough of my jibber-jabber. Let's get into making sure that these are going to retract right on both sides. All right, so really what we're looking at is here's the old piece and here's the new piece. You can tell just because it's shinier, um, but there are geometric differences to these. Um, the 85 degree from 90 degree change is one of them, but just because of the geometry of the retract mechanism, 
That's what is different. So you need at least the trunnion and the two side plates. And those are the only parts, the only parts we're going to replace. Note on the uh, side plates that this is the old one and this is the new one. And you can see how the end points of the retract uh, are a little bit more restricted. And that's again due to the 85 degree as opposed to the 90 degree. Uh, these little uh, dips in the track, that's what locks the retrack in place. As you can see here, that's the locked position. Ugh, and it's kind of stiff to get it out, but it'll free flow in between those. But once it gets in there and it's fully locked from the pressure canister here, it's very difficult to get that out. It's kind of a pain. But this is the end result we're going for. And this is what we start with. So I messed up here. Um, I forgot that when I had done this one, you don't put in the crossbar here because the trunnion gets in the way in the retracted position. So I put in the, the spacer there when I shouldn't have. So I'm going to take this off even though I struggled with it and put it in a different location. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. So as you guys can see, the uh, retract is now mostly assembled. I haven't tightened these because, uh, as, as you can tell, the sp getting the spaker spacers back together is kind of finicky. But what I'm going to do before I fully tighten these down is put on some fresh Loctite on each one of these. And that way, when I fully set everything, everything will squeeze nice together. And I don't have to worry about it vibrating or coming apart in the future. But as you can see, I now have the proper movement and it's just those three parts you have to replace. Well, there you have it. We got a full complete set of fully functioning the correct way retracts for very little investment. And these should last the lifetime of multiple, multiple models as finding them secondhand, they usually have already been through a model or three. Uh, I will also note that we have these retracts specifically for our upcoming P51 Mustang build. And you'll be able to see more of how to use pneumatic retracts as I get closer in the build to setting those up. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're following along, and I look forward to having you next time in my shop to make more flying works of art. Test, 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 top of my head, microphone, gut.